Hello friends, this is Nirmal here for Technique and in this video we are going to benchmark the new Samsung Galaxy J5. So we have this uh, J5 with us, so we are going to, uh, we are going to do the benchmarking uh, using Android 2 Quadrant in a Mark 2 Velamo as well as the Multi-Touch app. So this device is a mid-range phone uh, with uh, Snapdragon uh, 410 quad-core chipset with 1.5GB RAM and a 5-inch uh, AMOLED uh, HD display. It runs Android 5.1.1 and it also has a 13 megapixel rear camera. So let's start off the benchmarks. So we'll start off with the uh, Antidu benchmarking app. So we have the Antutu benchmarking result, it, uh, it's uh, 21603, that's pretty decent score for a mid-range phone. Uh, the, the new Moto G with uh, 2GB RAM and Snapdragon 410 had a value of around 24K. So uh, Moto G definitely has uh, better values than the Samsung Galaxy J5. Now let's proceed to the Quadrant test. So here we have the quadrant result, it is uh, 14678, again uh, slightly lower than the Motorola Moto G third generation uh, device that is uh, around the 16K mark. So again uh, this has 1.5 GB RAM, uh, the Motorola Moto G 2015 has uh, 2 GB RAM. Now let's proceed to the Nina Mark uh, 2 benchmarking test. So the Nena Mark 2 result is 54.2 FPS, again slightly lower than the Moto G 3rd generation. Now let's proceed to the Velamo browser test as well as the metal test. So the Velamo browser result uh, is uh, 1849, that's slightly lower than what we saw on uh, the Motorola Moto G. Now let's proceed uh, with the metal test. So the metal score is 965. Now finally we'll do the, uh, the multi-touch uh, testing. So we'll see how many point multi-touch uh, this device supports. So let's place uh, 10 fingers and just Okay, so it, uh, it supports only two point multi touch. So that's surprising because most of the devices in the mid range category either supports 10 point or even uh, 5 point, but uh, this is just two point multi touch, and uh, even the Moto G has uh, 10 point multi touch. So that's all, guys, with the benchmarks of uh, the Samsung Galaxy J5. So overall, it's a pretty decent device in the mid range category in terms of the benchmarks, and it's lower than the Motorola Moto G third generation. So that's all, guys. So hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to your YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.